Welcome to the Crazy Hat Chemist. So here we go again today, another video in electrons in atoms. Bam! So today we're still doing electron configurations, orbital box diagrams, quantum numbers, and this time we're going to do W74. So what is that element? Hopefully you got that name. You're going to pull out your periodic table, and it is tungsten. That is Z of 74. So right now what I want you to do is after I tell you the directions... After I tell you the directions, you're going to pause the video, you're going to write out the electron configuration using the noble gas notation, and then I want you to also do the orbital box diagram using the noble gas notation of tungsten, then I want you to restart the video. So here we go, restarting, bam, there is the noble gas notation of tungsten, that is xenon in brackets, not parentheses, 6s2, 5d4, 4f14. Okay, um, you could have written it in this way, xenon, 4F14, 5D4, 6S2. The way of writing this is in the order of the energy levels. That is, the lowest, smallest N is interior, and the largest N is exterior. That's why the lowest N, 4, is right next to the noble gas, and the largest N, that 6, is outside. And that should tell you the largest principal quantum number, N of 6, that tells you the number of valence electrons right away also. Because tungsten is in the boot, therefore it should have 2, which 2, it's the 6s2. We'll come back to that in just a bit, but I did go forward with that. You look at this one here. Now, I've seen this many times from students in this same fashion, and I'm going to circle two things here. See the 5D and the 5D? Um, when you write it out, when you walk it through here on the periodic table, it's 6S1, 6S2, then 5D1, then 4F, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, and then 5D2, 5D3. Now you have to combine the 5Ds together. That is, the shell and the subshell must be together. You can't separate them out. That is a no way, no can do. That will not be acceptable. Okay, it's also not just a 5D3. All right, so hopefully that makes sense. We're going to cross that out. You're not going to use that ever. That will never be correct. Okay, orbital box diagram of the same thing here. Okay, 6S2, 5D, and the 4F. We're going to fill it in the order in which those electrons were filled. Think about that. So we're going to got it up. We got it down. Okay, then it's the 5D1. Okay, now after 5D1, what comes next? 4F1, then 4F2, 3, 4, 5, 6, and 7. Notice that I've half filled with parallel spins all the 4F type orbitals. Now we're going to backfill those as is necessary, and they are completely filled. Okay, but we still have some electrons in the 5D series, so we're going to fill these in right here as we go, and then we are done. Is this diamagnetic or paramagnetic? That's up to you to figure out. That is paramagnetic, because we got unpaired electrons. That means this will be attracted to a magnetic field. Now, uh, valence electrons, I already mentioned that, but there are two. You should be able to get that from that uh, electron configuration there or the one right below it written in the energy level of order of filling. Okay, I'm going to circle an electron right here, and I want you to pause the video and write the set of four quantum numbers, N, L, M sub L, M sub S, that represent that circled electron. Restarting the video, okay, here are the set of four quantum numbers. Now, it is in the 4F orbital type, therefore N is equal to 4. The F type orbital, so S's are 1, P's are, excuse me, S's are 0, P's are 1, D's are 2, F's are 3, so therefore L of 3 gives you an F type orbital. Now, do you see the 4F in my orbital box diagram? Then write right above that a 0, okay? Then one box to the right of, right of that, write a 1. One box to the right of that, write a 2. One box to the right of that, have a 3, okay? Where the 4F was, where you had a 0, one box to the left is a negative 1. One box to the left of that is negative 2. One box to the left of that is negative 3. That is the order of the boxes 
It's like a number line. It is not a, no a number line. It's like a number line, and you get the right answer. So that's M sub L of 3 because it's in the right-hand side of this, and that's in the far right-hand box. It's an upwards-facing arrow, so it's going to heaven, so that's always positive, so that's why it's M sub S of plus 1 half. Okay? I got a really cool one here for you today. If I was a platinum, if, well, platinum is one of my favorite elements. So, there I am as a platinum blonde. If you like that video, give me a thumbs up, subscribe to my YouTube channel, and I will see you next time for two more videos in this unit. Bye now.